and do this. Yo, what's up? All right, let's see if this is. Let's start recording this. All right. Cool. Uh, let me double check over here. So it looks like stream health is good. What's up? JR Noble here, going live on my YouTube channel. And you should be seeing my screen right now, which has Ableton in there. And I'm actually working on some uh, lo-fi beats, some lo-fi tracks for a uh, sample pack and sound pack that I'm putting together with some people. And I just wanted to share what I'm working on and see if you guys are interested in any of this stuff and just to kind of break it down and try out this live stream. So see how this works. So let's see, I've got a few different ideas and different things I've been working on inside of this session. And uh, let's see. Got some different drum loop ideas, some different chord melody ideas, um, chord ideas and things like that. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I'm probably gonna build out another kit. So I'll work on building out another kit and get that in there. Let's do, I've got this other chord idea that I had. So I might build this out into eight bars instead of uh, four. I think it's four right now. Actually, no, it's two bars. Yeah, if I extend that out. So what we've got here is some chord ideas. Uh, that one sounds kind of happy for lo-fi. So the audio might be kind of choppy. It sounds like it's chopping out on my end. Uh, so I'm trying out to this live stream right now and seeing how this goes with all the streaming and all the things I'm kind of throwing at my computer right now with trying to process audio plus process video and, you know, recording and all this fun stuff. Uh, so I'm just jumping around and seeing what I can do with this right now and what I can do live. So if it sounds a little glitchy on your end, it might just be that I'm just trying to do too much stuff with my computer right now. Um, but I am playing around with some video stuff. So we've got just my Ableton screen and a different camera here. What's up? So I've got a couple different views I can play with here. Uh, but for the most part, I just want to jump in here and start kicking around ideas and uh, just to kind of open up my process and what I'm working on for this, uh, some lo-fi tracks, right? So um, lo-fi seems to be popping up a lot. You know, hip hop beats have been around for a long time, but definitely uh, lo-fi is gaining a lot of popularity, I think in the mainstream culture. So um, I was actually working on some stuff that would kind of fit for this. So I figured I would do um, a live stream so I could test out this live stream and share with you some stuff I've been working on. And if you're interested in the sample pack, drop a comment, let me know. So that way I can keep you posted whenever um, I get this stuff wrapped up. I'm working with a few other people on this. So if you're interested, drop a comment, let me know. Also, drop a comment, let me know where you're coming in from. That would be kind of cool to find out where everybody's uh, visiting from. Uh, make sure the chat's working and all that good stuff. But uh, say something. I'm going to say hi. Uh, let's get lo-fi cool all right so the chat looks like it's working and i'm going to jump back into ableton here and uh hopefully it doesn't glitch out too much but like i said if it's glitching out it might be the internet connection might just be my computer um is having trouble handling all of this stuff but i wanted to give it a try and see what happens okay so uh, like I said, I've got some chord progressions, chord ideas, and some other drums that I've already created. So this is like one we've got over here. I think I'm going to try and bump up the buffer size. I tried bumping it up. There you 
we go. I tried bumping it up before, but I don't think it's the Ableton buffer that's causing it to be all glitchy. I think it's Loopback by Rogue Amoeba. What's going on with that Rogue Amoeba? Let me know. Because I tried to find the buffer size to be able to change it in there, and it doesn't seem to be working, or I can't seem to find it. So if anybody knows, if you're using Loopback and you know how to change the buffer size in Loopback by Rogue Amoeba, let me know. Because um, I can't seem to find it. But anyways, uh, let's see, I'll try, yeah, 1024, I'll try and bump that up a bit. So I'm just going to put a little lead in for this one. Uh, yeah. So let's close this. I'm just going to take and actually we'll do this the easy way. I'm going to take this last section here, copy and paste it over here. All right. So it's got a little bit of a drum lead in. Try muting those out. Hmm, maybe not. jump back here yeah so that's one uh idea i have for this uh lo-fi stuff that i've been working on so we've got some drums stacked up and all that fun stuff so i'll probably work on another kit actually to go with this chord progression here that i was working on I'm going to add in to the MIDI track plugins. Let's grab machine so I can use the pads. Machine. There we go. Sometimes I just like using machine just for the, just so I can use the controller pads. Uh, so it's not, not always just for the sounds inside of it. Is this going to crash on me? Oh, man. Do we get crash or is it going to work? Dun, dun, dun. Gotta love spinning wheel of death. Um, all right. So I need to give Ableton a moment to kind of do its thing and figure its crap out. There we go. All right. Uh, it loaded it up on the wrong screen. There we go. Cool, so I really don't need that actually. What I need is, ooh, all right. What I need is this guy to be connected. All right. Doing that mode, okay, cool. So now I've got this guy in there and I can play some drums. All right, so I'm going to find some uh, kick snares and hi-hats and all that good stuff to kind of add in here. So let me add an audio track. Oops. 
wrong type of track. New audio. All right, get you out of the way here. And let's find some kicks. Samples, nope, let's go music, kick. All right, cool. Uh, dope. All right, cool. Uh, let's jump into. Bass drums. That might be, might be a good kick. Bass drum. Filter out some of uh, some with a little more thump. Or we could, what I might do is take this and pitch it down. All right, cool. So I'm just pitching that kick down, so it's got a little bit more of a bump on it. And uh, let's do some compression on it. Actually, I'm going to go for a particular favorite of mine, Sound Toys Decapitator. Shout out Sound Toys. All right, let's do. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of one knob saturation and see what that does too. See how that see how that does for this. Alright. Cool, so we've got the some saturation on it. And I'm going to use drum fattener. That sounds like a good one. We'll turn that down a bit. All right. And kick. Do kick one. All right, so now let's grab out your new audio track. Mm. I think what I'm going to do is shorten this up a bit. It's a little, it's a little loose. Little, little, not so tight. So just fade this. Cool. So I just wanted to kind of tighten that kick up. And then. Do I'm gonna put a limiter on this guy. Let's do isotopes maximize maximizer. There we go. I'm just gonna fatten this guy up. Gotta love sound design, it's just listening to the same thing over and over and over again.
Okay, so that fattens it up a little bit better. Find a snare or some snares now. Music. Um, so let's see what we got for snares. All right, let's try that guy. Here one. So we'll duplicate that one and make another snare track so we can kind of layer in some different snare sounds and see what sounds good. So... It's, uh, we're going to shorten this one up. So I'm basically making the drum kit, and then I'll make a beat with that drum kit. Uh, let's do fades. And let's get this guy faded out. I'll shorten both of those. Let's do like a short, snappy snare. Yeah, that's better. There we go. And let's take both of these and route those to. Another one, snare sub, and we'll take both of those, send them out to uh, snare sub, there it is. Set that for in, take the volume up. Cool. All right, so now I can kind of compress both of these. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that doesn't sound so hot, so let's take that out. So we're just going to EQ that out a little bit. Cool. And we can compress them a bit. Sounds better. Alrighty. I think we need a little multi band on this kick. Multi band. Just to kind of control. Yeah, that's what I thought. The sub on that is a little too much. Sounds good. Oh, maybe a little too compressed. There we go.
Maybe I'll crimp, compress this too. All right, cool. So I'll give it some thump. And all right. I don't know if I like this. All right, cool. Uh, I don't like that these keep opening on the other window. All right, so now we've got kick snare. And let's find some other sounds. Maybe we can add that one in there. We'll duplicate that snare track. And let's try this guy. That might be better. Let's fatten it up a bit more. All right, so I've got the one knob. So this is just kind of fattening up this one little snare hit that's going to give us a little bit of a crunch on it. Uh, plugins, let's do uh, overdrive. So this is a particular favorite of mine. There we go. Now I can turn it down a little bit. Awesome. Uh, let's see what this sounds like. All right, let's just try that. So we've got uh, we've got a kick and we've got a snare, and we just kind of need a hi hat, and we can make ourselves a lo-fi pattern. All right, we don't need any of those snares. Did I put hi-hats in there? Bongos, claps, toms, whistle, not what I'm looking for, actually. That might be cool. a little bit too bright. All right, let's try that. Volume, call this shaker, and I'll get a mm. let's get this maraca in there. And then I'll also grab a hi hat too. And let's call this closed. I'm just stacking all this stuff up. Mm. Let's find some hi-hats. Um, all right, I guess I'll go back to this one with all these kits. Probably, no.
Oh, that seems like a good one. It's kind of dirty sounding already. Sweet. So if we put those together, so I'm going to filter out some high frequencies on it. There we go. Get all this stuff out of there. Get this hi-hat in there. So let's fatten this up a little bit more because we need it to sound. Well, I could just turn up the volume too. Let's do minus six for that one. That's way too high. Minus nine. It seems okay. So we'll stack all three of those together. Uh, let me do hat sub four. And so I'm just basically pushing all these things through the same group. Uh, actually, let's turn all the inputs in off of these. No input. There we go. Uh, something was bugging me there. I don't know why I hate whenever it creates a new track and that input is set. I should probably save that as a new audio track so it doesn't do that anymore. All right. So turn you off. No inputs. Cool. So I'm going to have all that noise building up in there. That's a lot better. All right. So here's what we've got. Still sounds really bright for something that's going to be lo-fi. So what we'll do is route all three of these, send these over to at sub four with input. So we got that input set up. Yeah. All right, cool. And I'm going to reach for another particular favorite, which would be Devil Lock Deluxe. It's a great plugin if you really want to like get things crunchy and dark sounding. Devil Lock. All right, so now we can compress all of them. Cool, and I'll probably take some of that shaker and fade some of that out, make that a little bit shorter. There we go. Uh, let's see, what am I thinking for this one? So now I can start programming or laying out a beat for this. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, so now I can add back the keys and we can start to add some, kind of lay this out into a drum pattern. All right, so I want to add a little bit of swing to these drums. They seem a little bit stiff.
Try that. I want to really kind of groove out. Do doom. All right. So now I'll just duplicate that over. And I'll duplicate these snare hits over. And probably the hi hats as well. I don't know if I particularly like that I had sound. But what I could do is play with it a little bit. There you go. I think it was just the shaker was a little bit too loud. All right, so we'll bring the snare back, we'll bring the kick back. All right, now I can turn that in that whole group, actually. Let's do that. These doesn't sound right. Yeah, maybe I'll pick some different sounds for those. Yeah, I think the, let's see. Ah. Not a fan of what's going on with the sounds. I think it just needs. Those all sound very similar. Let's do. Right, let's get something that hits a little bit harder. This guy back over here. Cool. Get those ones and we'll just duplicate that over. Dirty symbol is not kind of. All right, we'll stick with that for now and just finish out the drum pattern.
if we make this eight notes. We'll option drag this. Maybe offset it a little bit. See how that lines up with the kick. There you go. So then we'll, now we can do is just duplicate this over, make some adjustments to it. I know what I'm gonna do. So the hi-hat, we're gonna swing it even more. We're just gonna just move it closer to this snare. And we're gonna swing this guy out to, actually, wait, let me see. Yeah, right there. Let's see what happens if we swing this out more too. Yeah. Swing these guys out more too. There we go. And keep that going. So I'm just making this feel like it swings a lot more. I could probably do like an open hi-hat there. There you go. All right, so then let me find an open eye hat in here. Let's do, let's see if there's open hats anywhere. Uh, let's try that one. So I'm gonna add a new audio track. Get rid of this input. We'll call this one an open hat. So let's see where that fits in. So I just need to get rid of that boxy kind of sound in there. And I'm just gonna chop that right there. So when the beat drops back in, it stops again. Actually, I didn't swing out 
this guy right here. So let's take this one and move it on over. Now let's uh, filter out some high frequencies. Maybe we could try some devil lock on that guy too. Just put it straight up on the track itself. And put this guy over here. Oh, grab the wrong one. Eh, whatever. Let's try it. There we go. Turn that down about. Cool. We turn it down a lot. We just crushed it a bit more. All right. So let's take, what we're going to do is add a little drum fill to the end of it. Hmm. Let's see if we take this one over here. No, I wanted to copy you, not just drag it. Add a little kick drum there. Awesome. So now I'm just going to take all this stuff we created so far and actually I'll make this really, really simple. I'm going to take all of these, we'll color them a different color, and we'll group them. Call this kit five. And now I can just take this whole thing and duplicate it over. Let's see what that sounds like. If we wanted to get more interesting with this, we could change things up here right at the very end of this. So it does that chord change. Da, 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 da. Uh, what else can we put in there? for a second. Uh, I know I wanted to end with but that to that. So we're gonna unmute that. Unmute those, unmute that one, and we'll just take these ones and move these guys over. Okay, so those are just a little too swung out. All right, that's how I wanted to end. To got, to got, and then I just got to figure out what to do with the middle part. Uh, 
No. Maybe keep it simple. hats need to be there too. All right, cool. So now we just got a little change up on the end of that. It sounds like this. I'd say that's a good drum beat for now. So that's another lo-fi kit. And I could also put something on here just to kind of bring it all together. Uh, here's a really cool one, UBK. Kush Audio, these guys are awesome, by the way. Kush UBK, this is a super dope uh, compressor. Love using this one whenever I get a chance to, for sure. So that's adding a little bit of compression to the whole thing and just kind of fattening up those drums a little bit. So great, we got another lo-fi kind of loop started and there's other things I would add in there too. We need to get some other cool, fun stuff. But for now, making some drums, added it to the chord progression and I've got yet another. That one seems a little too happy though for some lo-fi. Lo-fi is chill. A little more like this vibe. I don't know. Is that too happy? Let me know. What do you think? Too happy. We need to make it more sad, something like this. I'd say that one kind of fits in the in the vibe there. So yeah, uh, what do you think? Is happy okay for lo-fi? Can we do some happy chords? That one's like lift up. So, I don't know. Seems all right though. I'm gonna play around with that one. But that's it for now. That's all the time I have for tonight. Doing uh, some lo-fi beats, uh, playing around with creating some samples and some loops and getting some ideas. Got some chord progressions in there. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought. Uh, also, let me know where you're coming in from. Drop a comment below if you're interested in getting your hands on some of these sounds. Be sure to drop a comment to let me know. All right. And I will put you on the list to let you know when that is going to be available. All right. So thanks for stopping by, checking this out. Once again, JR Noble here. Uh, yeah, making some beats and having some fun uh, playing some music for you. So hopefully you enjoyed it. 
and I'm going to call it a wrap for the night. So enjoy your weekend. Have a great time. And I will talk to you again soon. All right. Later.